hey guys welcome back today we're showcasing the uh rolling cutter slash uh, cross ripper slasher build or budget build for the um guillotine cross now there's only one ocp in this build similar with version 2 of the reverberation maestro which is the demons familiar and um, we're gonna be doing a lot of um, sin weapon combos um, in the next couple of months and um, this is just uh, one of the uh, first few videos not counting version 2 of the maestro side now uh, first we are looking at the old bone circlet um, actually increases your cross stripper slash for damage by 20% that's probably the most important thing here now I have the acute enchant on this um, I didn't really want to spend the money you would probably want to use like metal or um, expert archer for the long range damage if you are going to be doing fully CRS but um, you know we're gonna purely focus on rolling cutter here um, and we are running um, you know, just the Angry Mantis card. Now, um, the Grace Rolling Suit actually gives you attack 100, um, physical, physical long range damage plus 10%. Um, when you have the full set, you reduce your aftercast delay by 10%, attack 2%, and 15% uh, rolling cutter damage. When all of those is plus 27, um, you know, you basically double that, an additional 10% ACD reduction, 2% attack, and an additional 15% rolling cutter damage um, I don't have a card on this um, really still uh, thinking about it next we have the grace attack mantu part of the set um, attack speed plus seven percent ACD minus five percent um, physical damage to all sizes plus uh, ten percent and um, I actually have the pedal card here because I was using this for the um, cross impact one um, you could probably run like men black card or a rock ridge um, cramp card if you have 120 strength um, Next is the um, grace attack boots uh, attack 20 hit 20 FCT minus five uh, five um, half a second um, LRD 10% now I'm running the Ares card here because this is actually is a combo with a sewage cramp card as well as the um, um, The mutant the lure card, you know um, Grace attack uh, ring, you know, VCT 10%, uh, critical damage plus 10%. And here we have the switch cram card. Basically, it increases your rolling cutter and the uh, counter slash damage. We're not going to really look into counter slash, more on the rolling cutter side. 10% um, and uh, once it combos with everything else, you get an additional 20% uh, for RC damage and uh, counter slash damage plus... Um, you know, uh, plus five percent every uh, three refines of the shoes. So at plus nine, um, Grace attack boots. Um, that's an additional fifteen percent. Now, we are using the Illusion Booster L, um, just because of the attack five percent. I have a couple of enchants here, just so you know. Um, Fatal four. We've got um, you know critical damage increase. We usually use this for the cross impact build attack speed um, and then expert archer just because you know CRS but obviously you can use this for something else um, I, I do run the gold scarabba card here because I just didn't have an extra sewage cramp card they are pretty expensive um, the demons familiar um, gives you 10 uh, plus 10 all stats and gives you a list of other stuff that actually um, combos with it but the most important part with this is the additional 200 attack and the additional 200 M attack. Um, you can run both. Um, but because we are using the Avaricia Metal, this actually gives us uh, quite a bit of um, attack bonus. Yeah, with Avaricia Metal, it actually boosts the damage for uh, Rolling Cutter and Cross Ripper Slasher 10%. Um, CRS damage plus 10% at plus 7 and uh, plus 11 you get additional 15% damage for Rolling Cutter and um, Cross Ripper Slash. So it's about 25% each skill um, once you get it to plus 11. Now I have the Mutant Delore card here. Um, it's mostly for critical damage. Um, this isn't really the, um, I guess, the best card right now in the meta for crit damage Katars, but uh, because they combo with the Ares card and the Sewage Cramp cards, um, you actually need one of these. I just put one. I didn't want to put any other card there just so that we can scale damage 
Um, speaking of damage, let's uh, let's go do a little bit of a damage test. All right, here we are, the eggs, and uh, we're first gonna try to test it on the neutral egg. Um, this time without any um, ele ele elemental converters. So we're looking at about 35k um, per rolling cutter, and about uh, 220, 220k for uh, CRS. Let's uh, let's do some um, EDPs. So about between 100 to 115 thousand um, damage for rolling cutter per hit, and about 680 to 710 thousand for um, cross ripper slasher. Pretty good actually. All right, next we're going to test it on the uh, fire eggs. Um, this time we're going to do the water converter to change the element of our weapon to, to water. So about uh, 46 to 48,000 uh, per rolling cutter. About uh, 280 to 300,000 for a cross ripper slasher. It's not bad for uh, elemental um, damage. With EDP, so we're doing about uh, 150 to 170 k uh, per uh, per hit on the rolling cutter. Ooh, and we're actually boosting up to 910 to 1 million, over 1 million uh, for the cross ripper slasher. Nice. And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, budget build showcase for the rolling cutter or uh, cross ripper slasher for the guillotine cross. Um, Historically, my uh, Guillotine Cross or GX videos have actually done pretty well um, just because a lot of players play Guillotine Cross. Um, that's also the reason why I have a lot of, well, you know, a lot of budget videos around them because there's a lot of people that actually want to play Thief class or even just Assassin class, um, but just, you know, can't afford having to, um, you know, spend that money to get the Uber gear that uh, we see with, uh, with the meta right now. So this is actually a really good, um, really good set for, especially when you're leveling, because rolling cutter is an AOE. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for you to to mob and level. Just make sure you probably need to have a little bit of perfect dodge or maybe a little bit of HP just to do that. But um, everything that you see here is something that you can craft, something that you can uh, get from quests, or something that you can. Um, you know that you can pick up like the Avarisha metal, which is um, I think I picked it up somewhere like uh, on the first map, the sewage, um, where the sewage cramps are. Um, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be more coming soon um, in the next uh, week or so. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will see you guys next time.